Oh, well, this is a wild velvet ant here. I believe it's Desimutilla bipunctata, which means two spots, and it, it fits the bill. It's got two spots. Uh, I actually found this guy on the dunes at a beach. I gotta try to prevent it from climbing up the side of the jar here. I don't want to, of course, be stung by the velvet ant. Velvet ants, if you don't know, are actually a species of primarily flightless solitary wasp. They're climbers for ground dwellers. Uh, the males are flighted, but they're, they look very different and they're stingless. Mm, no, 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 no. Okay, oh boy. Okay, here we go. So the females lay their eggs in the nest of a ground nesting bee or wasp, such as yellow jackets or bumblebees. And I am being a little rough with it, but these guys can survive being stood on. So she will be just fine. In fact, entomologists who pin insects have to use a, like a dental drill to pin these guys. So she will be just fine. Uh, their sting is extremely powerful, which gives them the name cow killer. Of course, they can't actually kill a cow. Uh, they are not lethal to humans. They just are very, very, very... The sting is very painful. The stinger is very long. It spans the entire length of the abdomen. And it can penetrate thin plastic. It's very good at getting through shoes and things like that. So you definitely don't want to step on one of these. They also vocalize when they're disturbed. I don't know if you can hear her, but she is vocalizing. Isn't that a cool animal? And they are fast. When they hit the ground, they hit the ground running. They primarily, as adults, eat uh, fruit and nectar. She's making a run for it, don't worry. I wanna let you go back where I found you, up in the dunes. Just need you to cooperate here first. She's trying to dig, it's so cool. She doesn't wanna go back to the jar. Velvet ants are found worldwide, mostly in well-drained sandy habitats. The greatest diversity is in the desert southwest, southwest region of North America, like Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, northern Mexico, etc. But they can be found just about everywhere. All different kinds. Oh, it's so beautiful. Unfortunately, that's what gets a lot of stung, is it's such a bright, beautiful, flashy animal. And it may prevent them from getting eaten, but it does not prevent kids from picking them up. I think we're just about ready to uh, let it go. You guys want to come with me to release the velvet ant? Want to come with me to release the velvet ant? Yeah. Yeah, velvet ants. <laughs> that's, a, that's a great question, and it's got an even better answer. I want to be super careful with it, because before it was hanging from the lid, and it was trying to sting the lid. I don't know if their stingers are that long that it can get through the plastic lid. I don't know. That's probably what that was. I couldn't figure it out, but that makes sense. Actually, I guess I should release it where I found it. It's just a little bit over here. In case it was in proximity to its nest. It was actually walking right across the entrance where we walked in. Yeah. Now this is the kind of habitat I've been finding them in. Just right up in the dunes, right off the beach, not by much. Maybe might see another one, but might not. This is the first one I've seen today. Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krebs? I found it actually right here, just walking right across this little gap here. Sorry, I had to kill that dead shell. <laughs> right over here? Yeah, it was it was walking right past here. Huh. So I don't want to release it quite right here because there's lots of little kids around and I don't want one of them standing on the velvet ant. That's a great question. The, the wasp would be fine. Oh, 
sorry about all that. Thank you for being a great ambassador to your species. That is so, so, so cool.